Huh? Are you sure this is the Coliseum? It's that way. Oh, guess we were a little off. Heartless! So hello guys, welcome back to Let's Play the Saga of Darkness. Um, this may be a relatively quick set because I'm uh, a bit late at recording, so we'll see how things go. Hope I can get this done quickly. Thanks, but I'm fine. And you're supposed to be? I'm Sora. He's Donald, and that's Goofy. We came to see how Hercules is doing. You know Wonder Boy? Yeah, just we are heroes too. <laughs> you mean Junior Heroes, Donald? <laughs> Looks like we have a friend in common. Name's Megara. My friends call me Meg. So how's Herc? Wonder Boy, well, he's doing it out at the Coliseum every day. You know, heroes work's never done all that. He's ready to drop, but he keeps on fighting. Even Wonder Boy has his limits, though. The opponents are bad news. Special deliveries from Hades himself. You know, contextually, that'd be an interesting uh, phrase, how, depending on how you want to word it. Because, you know, Hades is both the place and the person. So, from Hades itself, from Hades himself. Honestly, it's an interesting idea. Hades. Alright, Lord of the Underworld. I was on my way to see him. Maybe I can get uh, Hades to give Wonder Boy a breather. If anything happened to that kid. Sounds like you're more than just friends. <laughs> I mean... We'll go have a little talk with Hades. Hey, for anything to happen to you on your way to see him. Do you really want to do that? Well, looks like you know what you're doing. Guess I'll take you up on that offer. But let's keep this whole chat with Hades thing our little secret, okay? Lips are sealed. So I want to check something real quick. Oop, there we are. Alright, yeah. I started working on, um, uh, get my summon gauge up, but I was like, eh, screw it, I'll do it later. So, while we're in the underworld, for now at least, we can't use any of our drives, or I think summons. So we gotta keep that in mind. I think it's just drive. Can we do summons? Nope, no summons either. So it's all physical and magical stuff. Ooh, right track, nice. Ooh, sorry, headset's being a little weird. I'm probably gonna end up buying a new headset soon, just because I don't like the audio quality of this one. It sounds really weird. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, not worth it. Wait, hold on a second. I thought I got a uh, keyblade for finishing up uh, Bell's Castle too, or Beast's Castle. Oh well. The open is Yeah. So yeah, um, like I said, I'm probably going to get a new headset soon. Um, I might actually go out tomorrow, uh, or today, when the set comes out, to buy a new one. We'll see. It's just, I don't like the uh, weird sound that comes with it. And I, I don't know where my uh, old one is, so can't really get, can't really pick that one up and try it again. I think I may have thrown it away. Get up there. Nope. So we can't really get that uh, puzzle piece over there until a little bit later when we have a higher jump. Uh, we can if we try it with the Dragoon jump thing, but eh. I don't want to spend a week trying to get it. Ow. What's up, doggy? Guys. 
See, I'm probably only going to record for half an hour just because I don't have time, unfortunately. Um, I got a little sidetracked with other things, and ugh, never got around to recording the set until maybe enough time, just barely enough time to actually edit and upload. We'll see you though. This. Man, this place is creepy. You. Just keep swinging. I love the combos in this game. I really do. You also beat up. This is also the only game where you beat up souls to get magic. Run, run away! Okay. That was a bit weird. All right, so this. This is from uh, for the final mix version only. Um, let's deal with this book. Looks like it's called Absent Silhouettes. Are you sure you want to touch that? Can't be too careful in the other world. Right, I might it might be a trap of some sort. So, absent silhouettes are the quote unquote remains, I guess, of the uh, organization members from uh Chain of Memories. Essentially, we can fight copies of them and get items from them and by doing so we can create unique gear uh, based around that specific character for example this I'll just show it off once we open this stuff up I'm not gonna win this is like endgame stuff so we'll see I'm gonna pick this up and save before uh, touching it Can't, I, I can't actually do it yet. Uh, later on, we can fight these guys, I guess. Um, yeah, sorry, get you here. They, this is the uh, obviously the absent, absent silhouette of Zexion, the dude who had the book, the emo dude. Um, being this, I believe, will give us a accessory that does something. I don't remember what. But you have to get the item from it and make it here at the mobile shop. Oh, cool. So finally, a new weapon for Donald. Let's get this for Goofy as well. Okay. Oop. Items, Donald. There we go. Reminder of how Donald, or Goofy's, uh, weapons work. The... The bigger the weapon, the higher the defense boost. The smaller the weapon, the more the attack it does. So, build around that. Uh, similar with Donald and his weapons, his uh, stabs give more magic, whereas the hammers are more physical, so you can make Donald a war mage instead. Preference, really. When do they dig these freaks up? Jeez Louise. Oh, they're nothing but troubled, a whole lot of them. So, uh, what are you gonna do about Hercules? He's made mincemeat out of every fighter you sent at him. <laughs> Pretty soon, the underworld's gonna be standing room only. Say, why don't you just pick somebody already dead and save him the trouble? <laughs> dead. Dead is good. And I know just the war. Wah! Wah! 
Well, I'm scared too, Donald. Hades, come out! All right, ominous. Kill the plants. Man, I really need a stronger sword or key blade. I think I know where I'll go up to and stop. Yeah, I think, I think that'd be a good spot. Now I'm thinking about it. All right, yeah. So it might be actually a 20 minute set. We'll see. Yep. This stuff. Alrighty then. Jesus. Come on. Hello. I should have an idea about something. I might have to test that out a little bit. About the uh, headset. Thing. Sorry. Train of thought. I have a very weird, broad sense of train of thought. Come on. Oh, Get back here. I don't like these plants. They can attack you literally from anywhere. Except for, except for when you're in the air. Come on. There we go. Hello. How? Okay, I wasn't blocking, but... Do I have an auto-guard ability turned on? No. Oh, I parried his attack and turned into a block afterwards. Okay, I see. By the by, uh, what's down there? Just the underworld's deepest dungeon. <laughs> this time I'm bringing out the mother of all bad guys. You don't say. Well, maybe I should go. <laughs> Let's cut to the chase. Here's the deal I'm going to offer you. I let you out of the slammer. No strings, you'll be free as a bird. And all for one little job. Fight Hercules in the Colosseum to the death. This is my story, and you're not part of it. Did you forget who you're talking to? I am the Lord of the Dead. Huh. No wonder no one wants to die. You are fired! Oh, Cadillus! You again? Fight! Get up! I love Orin, sassy motherfucker. So there are a possible lot of reasons why Orin is considered the mother of all bad guys. Um, first off, he was a monk who abandoned his post. Um, he destroyed his world's greatest hope, aka Sin, even though technically that was or the, the final Aeon, so yeah. Uh, he ran around as an unsent, which is kind of a big no-no for Hades. So it all depends on perspective, on how you want to say it, even though he was technically a good guy. So, yeah, kind of, the, kind of that. Also, Greek mythology, it didn't matter if you were a saint or a sinner, you go straight to Hades when you die. There is no 
Paradise. Now, I know some people are going to make a reference to um, uh, Persephone's Domain. I can't remember what's called off the top of my head. But that is very, very complicated to get into, and I don't want to get into a philosophical debate. So, yeah. Let's just say, traditionally, you die, you go to hell. Or, you go to Hades. And since he referred to the, sl the slammer for the biggest bad, I'm assuming he was locked in Tartarus. Which is... Hell in hell. That's it. Um, I do plan on going back into Assassin's Creed Odyssey um, after I finish Mass Effect. Which I've, I've already finished the game, I just need to edit, before, uh, edit and upload it all. But um, I do plan on going back to Odyssey, and we'll touch more into that when we get there. I feel kind of funny. That's right. See, that's the thing. In the underworld, heroes are zeros. It comes with the territory. Go now! But I've got to talk to Hades! What was that? Can't fight him here. We have to go. Now! So yeah, I'll go into Greek mythology more in Odyssey. Just because, Greek mythology. Alright. I do love that a lot of his abilities... Or some of his abilities actually are straight up references to... Uh... 10. Like Overdrive. Bushido. How's he done? Don't count on it. Huh? Oh. Leaving so soon? <laughs> James Wood. Great voice actor. I'm really surprised he actually did decide to do, uh, Praise his role in Kingdom Hearts. Bushido! Our goal really is just to clear out Heartless to uh, open the path. Your pain shall be twofold. Because it's like, yeah, the barrier. We can't hurt him, so we have to uh, walk through this way. Keep hearing them say, feel the heat. Go! Oh, oh boy! Come on! That's actually a lucky guard. I instinctively try to dodge roll and block instead. Boom! Ow. Ah, oh, crap. I was going to save the, the Bushido for this, and I forgot that it takes magic to use it. Right, I don't have any of that, that's annoying. Of hero? No, I'm no hero. I'm just an 
Huh? Or... Oh? My name. I'm Sora. Donald! Uh, Goofy! Uh, uh, wow! It seems we were fated to meet. Maybe you need a guardian. Uh, guardian? Thanks, but no thanks. Technically, Sora is a summoner. He can summon creatures. Alright, saving. We're basically going to keep going until we get done with this next stretch. Uh, and then we'll call it there. I got Heartless all over the underworld now, so you can leave those pipsqueaks to me. <laughs> Look, pal, you just keep working on turning Hercules into a Heartless, then he'll be all mine. This is my underworld, you idiot! I'll handle this myself! Cerberus, go! Fun side note. Uh, I'm going to mention this again in uh, the Odyssey thing. Cerberus, or I think it's pronounced uh, Kerberos in um, Greek. I suck with Greek, by the way. Um, obvious. But Cerberus, translated, means spotted. Hades literally called his dog Spot. I love that fact. <laughs> it's such a stupid little thing. Didn't mean to do that. Oh well, that works too. Meant to hold on to that a little bit longer. So I can spiral over here. Oh well. Sweet. I love the cherry blossom swings too. Oh. The cherry blossom that he gets whenever he swings his sword. It's so cool. Whenever he does his big attack, I should say. Like that. Come on. Speaking of Final Fantasy, by the way, it's actually kind of important. We are nearing the end of uh, Resident Evil uh, Village. I will be going into Final Fantasy VII remakes integrate DLC right after that um, I've already played it but I'm going to re-record it just because I didn't like how uh, my commentary turned out with that one but it's still a lot of fun that game um, I also spent a lot of time a lot of time easily walking around uh, so I'm hoping that uh, replaying through it I can get be a little more concise with what I'm doing and I can give you more information about fun little side notes here and there So that's kind of my uh, thinking about why I'm going to re-record it. And also as a heads up, because we're you know on the topic of Final Fantasy. Yeah. This is it. Thanks to Orin. Oh, yeah. I still need a better Keyblade, Jeebus. Come on. There we are. Some bitch. Oh boy. Away from that. Boop. Boop. Yeah, I'm gonna save that, uh, Bushido for later. Come on. Boop. Uh, items, stock. Actually, gonna... there we go. Uh, ether, there we go. All right, that should do. What? Yeah.
think so. Hurry! Why didn't Donald and Goofy run through and help? Seriously. Vomits up freaking uh, darkness, though. Still does that, though. Man, thanks, Orin. Oh, here we go. Hey. Bad doggy. Bad dog, in my opinion. Asshole trainers. You can't get, really get more uh, assholey than, you know, Lord of the Dead, like Hades. These what keep jumping around, huh? Oh, I missed the chance to do that. Oh well. Counter guard, so I can now parry. Or counterattack. Come on, Wonder Boy, play hooky for a day, for old times' sake. They came to see me. They came to see a hero. Can't let them down. <sighs> Don't worry, Meg. I'll be fine. What does a hero need rest for, huh? <laughs> See ya. <sighs> Himself. Let's go find Meg and uh, then we can try this again. Alright, so yeah, I'm gonna call it here. This is actually a good uh, stopping point. Um, I'll see you guys next time when we'll continue from here. But until then, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye bye.